Hey guys and welcome to another Animal Crossing video, I'm Crossing Channel. The January update was pretty cut and dry, mostly focusing purely on festival and new seasonal items, however one brand new item and DIY recipe was found lurking within this update and there's actually an interesting story behind it. This is of course the new mermaid fence. You may have already heard about its return, but since I've gotten requests from viewers to fully detail how you can get this new recipe, why it's in this update and more, I've decided to take a look and show you guys how to get this brand new DIY recipe and add it to your collection. Even if you aren't into the mermaid furniture set, the collector and you might just want to head out there and get this one. If you're looking forward to this video, be sure to leave a like and if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and turn on channel notifications for more Animal Crossing videos. Now, if you've been playing Animal Crossing even for a little while, I'm sure you're familiar with diving, Pascal, and the mermaid DIY recipes you can obtain from him. If you aren't, however, in order to get the exclusive mermaid DIY recipes from Pascal, you need to go diving for scallops. When you catch one of these, you can exchange it for a mermaid DIY recipe or mermaid item if you so choose, once per day. In order to craft these items, you'll need pearls which you can also get via Pascal and from diving too. These mechanics were introduced in an update last summer, and with the mermaid set being introduced back then, returning from Animal Crossing New Leaf, we thought that that would be the end of it and that the set was basically complete. Since then, many people have gone out there and collected every single DIY recipe from the mermaid set, and I have most of them myself. However, Dataminers knew that there was more to this story, and that there's actually been a hidden item in the game this entire time that we couldn't access. This is of course the mermaid fence, which is arguably the most exciting one in the entire set. This is now obtainable for the first time in New Horizons thanks to a bug fix within the January update. Now it isn't entirely clear what actually caused this, as Nintendo is pretty vague with their patch notes for this game, and most of their others too. However, the official patch notes for the January update mention the following. Fixed an issue preventing players from receiving the mermaid fence recipe from Pascal. In short, there was some kind of bug within the game that had been stopping players from naturally obtaining this DIY recipe this entire time. I don't really know why, but somehow Nintendo didn't notice this entire time that it was impossible for you to legitimately get hold of this DIY recipe from Pascal within your game. Whilst working on this last update, they must have realised this item could not be obtained through legitimate methods, therefore they could fix it and return the recipe to the game as it was always supposed to be there. This interesting little problem makes you wonder if anything else in the game is currently inaccessible because of a bug, and that Nintendo just hasn't noticed it yet, it's certainly possible. If the bug isn't abundantly clear like this one, then it's difficult to make Nintendo aware of it online as we didn't really know there was a problem like this with the mermaid fence. To be honest, it's also entirely possible they just simply forgot to add this recipe to the pool of recipes that Pascal can give you, but at the end of the day, only Nintendo knows the true answer to this. The main point here is that thankfully, it's now back, and you can obtain it yourself within your game. When this update dropped, I actually got a few questions about obtaining this DIY recipe. Although it's the same as getting the other mermaid DIY recipes, I'd still like to explain and show you how you can obtain this new exciting recipe. Of course, the only way to get this recipe is to go swimming. Scour the ocean and find yourself a scallop. When you do, you should be greeted by Pascal, who will ask you for it. Hand it to him and he'll drop you a mermaid item or a pearl. If you're lucky, this will be the mermaid fence recipe. Since I have already collected basically everything else, I was actually able to get this recipe basically right away. Hopefully you can experience the same thing. If you've still got mermaid recipes to collect, however, it's possible that he may give you something else. Like I mentioned, he can also give you pearls and even mermaid clothing items too, so there's no guarantee that you'll get this new DIY recipe as soon as you go diving. It may take you a little while, but it's worth the effort. If you're struggling to find it, just keep going at it. Eventually you'll get this DIY recipe and I honestly think it's the best of the entire set. I've never been a huge fan of the mermaid items to be honest, but it's always exciting to get a brand new fence in the game as there aren't nearly as many of these as there could be. The mermaid fence actually heavily resembles one that you could get around your house as a part of an upgrade back in Animal Crossing New Leaf. This furniture actually originated in there like I mentioned earlier, so it makes sense that there was a bit of a house design for it too. Of course, fences weren't a thing back then aside from the ones fixed around your home, so this is the first time that it's an actual item on its own, and the design is slightly different here too. 
If you're going for a mermaid or even a beach theme in Animal Crossing, or perhaps you've got a very pink island, then you'll definitely want to pick up this new DIY recipe as soon as possible so you can display it around your island. In order to craft this DIY recipe, you'll need one pearl, five coral, five sand dollar. This perhaps makes this one of the more difficult fences to craft in the game, but if you really want this item, I'm sure it'd be well worth going after. As I mentioned, you can get pearls by diving and also from Pascal. If you've already collected literally everything from him, then it's most likely he'll just give you pearls, but I haven't tested this myself yet. Either way, the ocean is your only way to farm these, and you'll need a few if you want to make a whole ton of these fences. So get out there, go collect those pearls, and most importantly, make sure you actually get this new recipe first. It's always fun to discover something new in the game, and if you've been collecting all of the DIY recipes up until now, then this is an exciting new one to add to your collection, and a very interesting development too. Everything from the mermaid set that was in New Leaf is here in New Horizons, though it does make you wonder if perhaps one day, Tom Nook could offer a new house style and upgrades which would allow you to customise the exterior of your home at a higher level, like you could back in Animal Crossing New Leaf. This was such a great feature and there were so many different options, and one of the favourites that I saw was the mermaid exterior that you could get for your house. You'd have to buy the part individually from Tom Nook's store, and then you could complete a look. The mermaid exterior honestly looks super cool, so hopefully in the future we can get an update that will bring back themed exteriors like this one that can match with some of the furniture in the game. Until then, the mermaid set remains a fan favourite, and perhaps one of the only completed furniture sets actually in the game, what with most from New Leaf gone from New Horizons, which is definitely a shame. I'd love to see even more furniture sets return in the future. Perhaps we'll see even more hidden DIY recipes return, who knows at this point. I'd love for you guys to let me know in the comment section down below what you think about this new DIY recipe, and also the mermaid furniture set, and whether you've collected it all in your game yet or not. If you want to help support me and my channel, click the join button down below the video or the link in the description to become a channel member and a member of the Bob's Gang. You can get a whole bunch of really cool perks for doing so, such as exclusive emojis, a badge by your name, exclusive content and posts, and so much more, so be sure to check that out. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like, show support, and if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and turn on channel notifications for more Animal Crossing videos. You can check out my links and my merch in the description, and two Animal Crossing videos on the right side of the screen. Thank you once again for watching.